the bicycle on bush is attributed to Henry Lawson. It's basically a poem uh, where the people who live in the bush are country people and the people who live in cities, they're city people. Well, the belief is that country people are pretty dull-witted country bumpkins and city people are very, very clever and smart. Well, this was poem was simply a victory for the country. That uh, they're not all so smart as they think, as the poem tells you. Oh, there were words in it that are not used today, they were common. You've got to think that this poem was written well at the turn of the 19th century, between 1900 and 1920. Then. Anyway, the way it goes is, as the night was falling slowly on city, town and bush, from a slum in Jones's Alley came the captain of the push. Captain is the boss of the dam. And his whistle, loud and piercing, woke the echoes of the rocks. Rocks is a part of Sydney, it's still there today, it's called the rock and a dozen ghouls came slouching round the corners of the blocks. Then the captain jerked a finger at a stranger by the curb, whom he qualified politely with an adjective and verb, then he made the introduction. Here's a cody from the bush. Fuck me blind. He wants to join us. Be a member of the push. A cody, of course, is a man or a bloke from the bush. Then the stranger made the answer to the captain of the push, I fuck me dead, I'm foreskin Fred, the bastard from the bush. I've been in every twelve school, from Darwin to the Lou, I've ridden colts and black gins. What more can a bugger do? Well, two of a gambling game, they use two pennies where you bet on whether the penny is going to fall heads up or tails up. Heads win, tails lose. The loo is just simply for a suburb of Sydney, Woolma loo. And black chins, of course, are lady aboriginals. And a bugger is a, probably a low life. What more can a low life do? Are you going to break a window? Said the captain of the push. I'd knock a fucking house down, said the bastard from the bush. Would you out a man and rob him? Said the captain of the push. I'd knock him down and fuck him, said the bastard from the bush. Would you don a bloody copper if you caught the cunt alone? Would you stouse a swell or kick him? Split his garret with a stone. Would you have a bowl to keep you? Would you swear off work for good? Said the bastard, my colonial silver mounted oath I would. But a copper, of course, is a policeman. Stouch means a heap. A swell is a well, perhaps a, a feminine, well dressed type person who looked as if he had money, maybe even a homosexual, a chinky, just a Chinaman, split his garret with a stone, that's his throat. Would you have a mole? A mole is just simply a prostitute. Would you care to have a gasper? said the captain of the push. I'll take that bloody packet said the bastards from the bush. Then the pushites all took counsel, saying, fuck me, but he's going, let's make him our star basher. He'll live up to his name. Well, a gas, of course, is a cigarette. 
Sabbath took him to the hotel at Barsakun Bush and granted him all privileges appertaining to the push, but soon they found his little ways were more than they could stand, and finally their captain addressed the members of his band. Now listen here, you buggers, we caught a fucking tartar. At every kind of bludging, that bastard is a starter. A poker and a two-up, he shook our fucking rolls, he swaps our fucking liquor, and he robs our bloody miles. Well, a tartar is uh, probably a ruthless, self-interested type of person. No thoughts for anything other than himself. A bludger, of course, bludging, is uh, earning a living of someone else's work. Of course, a star is a, is a person that's right front line, right in the front. Uh, liquor, of course, is alcohol. So down in Jones's alley, all the members of the push laid a dark and dirty ambush for that bastard from the bush. But against the wall of Riley's pub, the bastard made a stand, a nasty grin upon his dial, a bike chain in each hand. Well, the dial, of course, is his face, as in the dial of a clock. They sprang upon him in a bunch, but one by one they fell, with crack of bone, unearthly groan, an agonising yell, to a sorely battered captain, spitting tooth and gouts of blood, held an ear, all torn and bleeding, in a hand, bedaubed with blood. You low polluted bastard, snarled the captain of the push, get back to where your sort belongs, that's somewhere in the bush, and I hope heaps of misfortunes may soon tumble down on you, may some lousy harlot dose you, till your bollocks turn sky blue. Bollocks, of course, your testicles. May the itching piles torment you, may corns grow on your feet, may crabs as big as spiders attack your balls of truth. And when you're down and out of, and a hopeless bloody wreck, May you slip back through your arsehole and break your fucking neck.